guys, how you doing? Uh, I thought I would just kind of drop a line, kind of let you guys know what's been going on at uh, Fox Family. Uh, appreciate everybody watching all the videos and stuff like that, and um, all the subscribers. I've gotten a ton of subscribers lately. Um, I think it took, I yeah, got 100, 100 subscribers in like one day. That's pretty awesome. I really appreciate it so much. So, um, but uh, you know what we do here at Fox Family Heating and Air, we take care of people um, ethically try to get it done fast try to be friendly and try to be honest and let people know you know hey we can repair this system we can replace this system uh, whatever you want to do but we mainly leave it in the hands of the customer to, to figure out what they want to do what's right for them what's right for their budget and then uh, and then we act on it if they want to make the repair we just make the repair and it's not a big deal for us because we're mechanics and we like to fix things. Um, sometimes a customer gets in a situation where they don't want to spend any more money on repairs and they'd rather replace the system. So we let them do that as well. And we uh, are very good installers. So um, we got a really good thing going on here. I got a power team. I mean, I, I got some really good guys over on my, on my squad. I got uh, Keith and Colin, uh, Justin, Aaron, Kyle, all of my technicians that, well, I mean, four of the five of those guys I used to work with before at another place, one of them I picked up off of Craigslist, and he turned out to be just a, a diamond in the rough, you know. Um, I was very fortunate to pick him up uh, off of Craigslist, so, but, um, you know, so those guys do a lot of the work out in the field as an owner. I have to keep those guys busy. It's not keeping me busy. It's, it's keeping those guys busy pretty much. So we're, uh, we're coming up. We're probably about two weeks away from our, from the main rush that you get, uh, every summer. So I've got my, I've got my truck decked out and I'm ready to run calls. I can do anything. I can change out a compressor. I could do a full install out of my truck if I wanted to. Um, so I'm ready to go for the summer. I haven't really had to run any calls um, in a while. I mean, every once in a while I'll go run a, a call because I want to make a video and show it. Um, so that's the kind of the bad thing about being an owner is that, um, and I have all these guys, I got to keep them busy and I don't run a, I don't run a ton of service calls anymore. Um, so I don't get the calls to go run and uh, do, shoot videos on. So. Um, sorry, I just flinched. There was a couple birds that almost hit me right there. Hit my car. That would have been bad. So I end up finding myself doing things like this. I'm running around today. Um, this furnace got delivered. This furnace in the back here got delivered to us. Um, it was the wrong order. I mean, I, I, I ordered the right furnace. They delivered the wrong furnace. And uh, so after asking them a couple times to come pick it up and they haven't I'm gonna go take it back because I don't want it sitting in my shop um, and uh, they I also ordered five um, specific filter dryers they're biflow filter dryers um, and so I ordered, I ordered a specific part number and I ended up getting five uh, five of one type of filter dryer and five of another fil type of filter dryer. So I ended up getting 10 filter dryers and they weren't even the brand that I, I chose. So, so I kept the, I kept five of them. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I kept five of them. It's just that the other five are like three ton and under, uh, filter dryers and, and I'm just going to take them back. So, I mean, I've asked them to come pick them up a couple times, but you know, they're busy. So I'm gonna meet them halfway. Actually, I'm gonna <laughs> meet them all the way and uh, go take it all back. I've gotta go pick up things like, I mean, look at my list today. I've gotta pick up, I have to pick up, here's, here's Greg's to-do list. So I'm gonna take these back to Ferguson and uh, get uh, get credit for this furnace back. I already got the right furnace. We installed it this weekend. But uh, so we're gonna take this furnace back. 
I also have to pick up some some other parts. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up like four bottles of nitrogen, four acetylene, and four oxygen because we're growing and the uh, the amount that we have in the shop is not quite enough. So it's just another part of growing, and I've gotta spend more money on tanks and things like that. I mean, the initial deposit on the tanks is what you're paying for. And it's pretty expensive. So, the more we grow, the more supplies I gotta have, the more inventory I gotta have to keep everything uh, flowing. So I find myself a lot in the warehouse um, stocking up the shelves so that the guys can come in and grab what they need, take it out and go, and try to make it as efficient as possible for them. Cause not, I mean, we wanna install all the same parts and I'm very particular on, on the parts that I do install. So like, like my capacitors, they gotta either be Mars 440 capacitors or the uh, Titan Pros, uh, the gray and yellow box uh, capacitors. But I won't install any other capacitors because um, we put a lifetime warranty on our capacitors and I want them to at least last more than two or three years. <laughs> so, so these are the capacitors that I have felt, felt over time have uh, stayed pretty strong. Even if they'll last five or 10 years, that'd be great. Um, our lifetime warranty on parts is for as long as the person owns the house. Uh, so if he decides to rent it out, the capacitor fails down the road, I'll change it out, no problem, no questions asked. What I want is the customer for the long time, so a little $15 capacitor doesn't mean anything to me uh, when it comes to saving relationship with a, with a customer who's already invested money with me. Um, so I want to take care of that person for uh, forever, you know? It's not even a question of how long I want to take care of. I want, to, I want that customer for life and I'm going to do whatever it takes to keep that customer for life, to earn that person's trust so that someday when he decides to change out, he might change out with us. All right, so I thought I'd uh, just kind of bring you guys by uh, my uh, warehouse where I pick up my stuff. This is Ferguson. I actually have a Ferguson Plumbing and a Ferguson HVAC here. Huge huge facility this guy's doing something hi So right here, up on the right here is uh, Ferguson um, Plumbing, and this whole building here on the right is all Ferguson. All of this, all of this coming down here. This is the about the end of Ferguson Plumbing, right about here, and then Ferguson HVAC starts with their warehouse, and it's freaking huge. This is Ferguson East West right here, so. So I'm gonna back up into the dock here and they got it. They just poured the pad for this dock here, so it's pretty nice. What's that?
that's a warehouse right there. Got all rude and stuff here. And in the next warehouse over, they got train. Huge warehouse here. Okay, and now we're gonna head on over to <clears throat> the city of Folsom and get a permit. You get a permit for uh, an install coming up. Uh, normally we would do it online, but Folsom is so old fashioned that they don't have an online permitting system yet, which is a little lame, but whatever, it's all good. We'll go over there. They've given, uh, when they went there before, <clears throat> like they're so old fashioned at the city of Folsom, which is a really modern city, by the way, like a very modernized, very like high end type city, but there's, but their, <laughs> their, their paperwork is still all paper. It's no, no, there's nothing electronic there. You have to issue, uh, you have to write a check there. So you can't just give them your card. Uh, you can't process it with a credit card or debit or visa or whatever. Nope. It has to be a check, a handwritten check. So I'll show you guys. We'll get over there. It's a really nice city. Uh, I would love to live there actually. Um, cause they got some you know, just some really beautiful areas over there, but for some reason, they're just not uh, modern enough yet to have the online permitting. They've driven Melissa so crazy there at Folsom that she won't go there anymore. <laughs> and she's a very patient, very low key person, but um, for some reason they haven't ticked me off yet enough to where I won't go there. So uh, somebody's gotta stay friendly with them because we wanna keep doing work in Folsom. So, so I, We'll suck it up and keep going there. Melissa will ask me when we get a job in Folsom, do you mind going and getting the permit? Yeah, no problem. So see, this is just more stuff that, this is more stuff that keeps me out, in the, keeps me out of the field. But I love it. I mean, I love doing this. I love being a, an owner of an HVAC company that is growing and I, I really see us getting a lot bigger in the future actually. Um, I've got so many really good guys on board that all of those guys can become leaders themselves and of, of a one department or another. I'm really trying to get my solar uh, department kicked off. We still haven't done one solar install yet, but it's going to happen. This one's gonna have a lot slower than the uh, than the HVAC, but I'm not giving up on it. It's definitely gonna happen. You know, I just went over to a plumbing company. Uh, this lady that's in our networking group, she invited me over to her company. Um, they're a seven and a half million dollar plumbing company, and it was just neat to go in there and see what a real company looks like. What a what a you know some some might call my company a real company, but you know. I, as a comp as a as a business owner who wants to get bigger, uh, I don't quite see it that way yet. I'd like to see you know offices and people in them and big screen TVs in our in our office and everything. I just learned so much from getting from going over there, just walking around their warehouse, their offices, their shoot even their lunchroom is is pretty cool just to check out. So. And there's uh, City of Folsom, City Hall. That's where I just got my permit done. Pretty cool, pretty cool little area, nice area. 
Okay, so we just got done over at Folsom and just got our building permit. Got the building permit, so we're all set to go for the next installation here in Folsom. Wow, it's so vague because there's been so many installs lately. It's been crazy. So those guys will be good to go for the install uh, on the install date. Folsom is actually the only city that I've been red tagged on, uh, and it wasn't it wasn't with Fox Family Heating and Air. It was actually with the company that I was working with before. But we were actually out doing an install, and that company. They always got their permits, but but it might have been, you know, they'll they'll say, oh, we can do the install the next day. So we would be out there doing the install the next day. In the meantime, and within the next few days, you know, that company would have gotten their their permits. And the uh, city code inspector actually came up uh, into the attic while we were working and told us to stop working because we didn't have a permit on uh, on file for that job. And, and those guys, you know, that company would have gotten it in the next couple days, but it is what it is. The rules are the rules. So we had to stop that install that day and actually wait to come back and finish it up afterwards. So, uh, so I don't mess around with Folsom. <laughs> Definitely get my permits before the job starts. Now we're going to head on into Home Depot and pick up some stuff. Quarter knockouts here. Damn. Yeah, I like to just get a bunch of these. These gorilla gloves. The guys use these, they eat them up. So we'll make sure we have plenty on hand for the next several weeks.
All ready for tomorrow. The coil, furnace, 18 sear, air conditioner. My bin is full of everything I need for the job. The guys just have to reach into this bin and everything they everything that they need for the job is right inside that bin. Except for glue and things like that, but <clears throat> just gotta get this flue pipe in there and we're good to go. So that's just a typical day uh, for, for me. So a lot of running around. Uh, I didn't even really do a lot in the office, like in my office, like uh, the computer or anything. But um, today's Monday, so just kind of get back, get everything, you know, organized for the week, set up for the week, and take care of myself at the same time. It's kind of funny. I'm, I'm heading off to the chiropractor right now uh, just to, you know, do something to my back adjust it but it's just kind of funny how you know you'll be working along or you know I play hockey so um, and I do things around the house and things like that and you just don't know man it's just a, all, of, all of a sudden your uh, your back just doesn't feel like working that's what happens when you get older but okay well I did not uh, end up taking the camera in with me I forgot about in the truck but uh, but I feel much better now I got a, actually got some x-rays of my back and uh, my side. So he actually gave me some x-rays too, included on the appointment. So that was kind of cool. Well, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today as I went around, started in the morning, had to get a lot of uh, running around done, and then I'll find something else to do, and then I've got something else to do, and then I got to go put all the equipment in the trailer, and, and that's kind of how my day goes every day now. So... Um, when I have less things to do like that, then I try to get out in the field and get some work done. Actually make some money for the company instead of spending it all. So, <laughs> all right guys, well, thank you so much for again for watching and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.